Today, I'll talk about laminar flow through annulus. Consider a laminar incompressible fluid flow through a horizontal circular annulus pipe as shown in figure below. Fluid flows an annual region between two coaxial cylinder ready R1 and R2. The laminar flow in an annulus pipe is fully developed. The velocity profile doesn't change in horizontal direction. The velocity u varies only with r. The flow proceeds in cylindrical coordinates. Here, uh, that uh, two cylinders are there. One is small, another is large. So, small cylinder is inside the large cylinder. So, from uh, that center, la small cylinder radius is r1 and large cylinder radius is r2. Now, we have to set up the governing equation. So, so here continuity equation in cylindrical coordinate r theta z is given by 1 by r dou by dou r r u r plus 1 by r dou theta by dou, the, dou u theta by dou theta plus dou u z by dou z that is equal to 0. Now here uh, 3 momentum equation r direction momentum equation theta direction momentum equation and z direction momentum equation. Now we have all these governing equation, continuity equation and momentum equation. Now we have to take the assumption. So assumption is uh, the flow is steady. So dou u by dou t means dou u r by dou u r by dou t is equal to 0. Dou u theta by dou theta sorry dou t is equal to 0. Dou v z by dou t is equal to 0. So that is steady flow. So uh, this u is actually r theta z. Incompressible flow that is rho is constant. And here we, are, we postulate that u is function of uh, that u z uh, that r and z uh, because there is a no flow in uh, theta direction. Uh, so here this postulate is uh, postulate implies that there is no radial flow u r is 0 and no tangential flow u theta is 0 and that u z doesn't depend on theta. So uh, again another assumption fully developed flow no flow variation in properties in the z direction so dou by dou z is equal to 0. So using this four assumption we simplify the governing equation. So now here that continuity equation r theta z so that is 1 by r dou by dou r r u r plus 1 by r dou u theta by dou theta plus dou u z by dou z is equal to 0. Now here u r is 0 u theta is 0. So u r is 0 that is 0 u theta is 0. So dou u z by uh, dou z is 0. So now here this implies this means that u z is function of r only u z of r means velocity doesn't change in this direction but velocity uh, change in this radial direction velocity change this direction but there is no change uh, in this horizontal direction now here so this is steady 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 okay u r is 0 so this is 0 u r is 0 u theta is 0 u r is 0 now here u r is 0 u r is 0 u r is 0 u r u theta is 0 u r is 0 now here u theta is 0 okay so all are 0 so now only this term is there so that is 0 and u theta so all u thetas are 0 so 1 by uh, dou p by dou theta that is also 0 now here so dou by this is steady that is 0 then u r is 0 means this term is 0 th u theta is 0 means this term is 0 okay dou by dou z fully developed flow that is 0 now minus dou p by dou z now mu now uh, u z is function of u z is function of r so this is not 0 1 by r dou uz by dou r because of this and here that z uh, uz is not function of theta so this is 0 and this is fully developed flow 0 so we have only this so now from here we have so r equation r equation of motion so minus dou p by dou r 0 dou p by dou theta is 0 so and so now z equation minus dou p by dou z uh, plus mu that dou square uz by dou r square plus 1 by r dou uz by dou r uh, uh, here and this is not correct so i did so this is equal to 0 now here for the state uh, steady flow for, or steady fully developed laminar flow through horizontal we have u r is equal uh, 0 u theta is 0 uz uh, is equal to uz r so 
so pressure gradient dp by dz is constant and navier stokes equation in the z direction is 0 minus dou p by dou z plus mu uh, dou square uz by dou r square plus 1 by r dou uz um, by dou r now we take this term the left hand side and this term uh, that 1 by mu dou p by dou z now we have to do integration so here so so differential equation we got from this navier stokes equation and after putting assumption we got this now uh, integrate with respect to r so we will get r du by dr 1 by mu dp dx r square by 2 so actually dx not dx so that is dp by dz not x dz so if, okay this is correct z so this is also z okay so d, du by dr is equal to 1 by 2 mu dp by dz r plus a by r okay so next another uh, again if i do that uh, integration so you will get u is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dz uh, r square plus a ln r plus b so now uh, here boundary condition so here that flow is happening here so uh, this is the no slip boundary condition because r is equal to capital r that u is 0 and r is equal to that sorry r2 r is equal to capital r1 that is 0 here and r is equal to r2 that is also 0 I mean both side wall okay so that velocity is 0 now based on that we have two integration constant a and b we can find out so two boundary condition two unknown so now here if we plug that r is equal to uh, that's r1 so u is equal to 0 so we will get this 0 plus 1 by 4 mu dp by dz r1 square plus a a ln r1 plus b here r is equal to r2 okay so 0 1 by 4 mu dp by dz uh, r2 square plus a ln r2 plus b now if we solve this so this is actually z this is also z this is z and this is z okay now we can say that z is nothing but x direction we can consider then we have to we don't have to correct okay so now here uh, subtract two equation and from that b will be cancelled out and from here you can easily get a a is equal to a is equal to something uh, like 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 mu uh, dp by dx um, r1 square by r2 uh, minus r2 square ln r1 by r2 so we'll get that now if you plug that a1 uh, here so now we can easily get b so just doing the operation so a after getting a and b so we can plug that a and b in that original equation so original equation is here okay so this is the original equation this is the original equation uh, not this is the not this is original equation so this is the original equation you plug a and b so ultimately we will get the velocity profile so this is the actually velocity profile we got the velocity profile in terms of r1 r2 so this is the velocity profile now so this is velocity profile now if i do the integration uh, sorry the differentiation so du by dr so we will get that 1 by 4 mu dp by dx 2r minus r1 square minus r2 square uh, then uh, ln r1 r2 1 by r we will get that now the velocity so we just consider uh, that when du by dr is 0 we can easily means that velocity is maximum so du by dr means is 0 means maximum or minimum velocity maximum velocity so from that we can easily find out the r max so here that we got that uh, this deriv uh, uh, differentiation so now we plug this 0 so 2r minus r1 square minus r2 square ln r1 r2 by 1 by r is equal to 0 so now from here we can easily calculate if we do that reorganize if we do the simplification so we'll get r is equal to root of r1 square minus r2 square 2 ln r1 by r2 uh, so here you can go through one by one okay i'm not going through so you can easily get r is equal to this so this is nothing but r max okay so means here this is the r max so uh, at that point we'll get u max so uh, that r max is equal to this so r square max will be r1 square minus r2 square 2 ln r1 r2 so now 2 is multiplied 2 r, r square max is equal to r1 square minus r2 square ln r1 r2 so from here we can easily calculate r max now if i plug that r max into velocity profile we can easily get u max now uh, so this is the velocity profile now we are trying to 
calculate the maximum velocity now first uh, that the velocity we are plugging this term in terms of r max so we'll get velocity profile in terms of r max and r so and r1 so we'll get this velocity profile so we'll get this velocity profile now if we plug r is equal to so now we, we, uh, we have to calculate that maximum velocity so if we plug r is equal to r max we will get that u max so now we are plugging r max now so this is the velocity this velocity the profile uh, or velocity not velocity profile velocity at that u max okay so u at r max so that is the maximum velocity that point so we will get this now uh, so here we know that 2 r square max is this now if i plug this 2 r square max and if we do simplification so you will get u r max is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dx r square max minus r1 square minus 2 r square max ln r max by r1 